Hello friends and subscribers, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World here on YouTube. My name is Daniel Rosell and today I'm going to be doing a quick video on a troubleshooting step for the Brother QL700 label printer. This is what I'm using to do all my printing for uh, inventory purposes. Don't ask me why the store sold me a 700. They told me it was more robust than the QL800, but it's a good bit older and I kind of wish I got the newer model, but Anyway, this is what I have, and the power off setting on the QL700, uh, it's not really that clear. So I googled it and I found this little tutorial here on their brother website uh, dating from 2022, uh, and it talks about how to disable the power off time, and it worked on my Windows VM. But just to make it uh, crystal clear, I thought I'd do a video showing the steps. So firstly, uh, you want to go into your control panel, go into devices and printers, and then you're going to see that you have uh, the Brother QL700 as a device. Now, if you go into properties, this is why I say it's a little bit confusing. They don't really have many options under hardware. For device functions, you can click into uh, printer properties, but this actually won't expose the information that you need. So the way I kind of figured out to do this was a little bit roundabout. Um, I found the QL700 was listed by actually accessing it through its print queue. So if you click on the printer, you're going to be taken to this dialog box for the print queue. This is the essential step really. And then if you go into printer, you want to go for properties. Now, just to again, explain what you don't want to do. The first thing is printing preferences. And this is kind of where the online instructions suggest it is. But as you can see, there is nowhere here to configure the power settings. So going back to the print queue, go on to printer, then go to properties. And this is the dialog box that's going to enable us to actually make the change that we want. So you want to jump over into the device settings, which is the last tab there. And then you're going to go into utility and then you're going to click on properties. And once you've done all this, you're going to get into the QL700 utility. So this is why uh, when you download and install the QL700, you want to make sure you have this utility. If you don't have it and this doesn't pop up, then you want to install this. So I uh, go to the QL700 utility and finally we have the setting we need. So there's a power on when plugged in setting by default that is off. But you can turn this to on if you want the device to always be powered on when it's plugged in. And once you do apply, it's just going to update the uh, printer. And this setting should hold on other operating systems too. So the auto, auto power off time setting, which we came for, is here. You can see that I have it uh, configured to zero. But by default, it's set to 60 or that was my hardware. So that means after 60 minutes, it'll power off. And instead of having a disable button, they tell you to apply zero. So change the time over to zero. Click on apply. Again, we're going to see it just set that. And that is it. We're done. We've now disabled the auto power off on the QL700 and our label printer will stop powering itself off. Hope that video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Until the next time.